have a big head. I do. You? Uh, yes, this he is does. big. The forehead. Let's not do it while there's fucking three cameras <laughs> on it, but I mean, yeah, sure. See, this well, we'll is touch what it up I and post. Think you have a big head. It's big. It's this. I have a. <laughs> <laughs> To an outsider, it looks like, you know, same size head. There should be well, that's other... Not, that's not saying much, because he's <laughs> enormous. So it's like, he's the size of a house. All right. This is what I love. And th mm. this, this, is, this is what this is. This is literally, you know, our favorite thing to do is to meet up with friends after shows, running around the city, yep. grab a beer, fucking grab a bite, hang out at a diner, hang totally. out at a bar. Yeah. And, and so this is it. So how many, how many would you have tonight? Okay, so this was the night. And today, I actually did get to chill today, but this week, what because it was... Because not to cut, you do a lot of running around. You run around a couple a lot. episodes we were around. talking about, there's not a lot of people that get... You 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 do a lot of running around. You're, you're a hustler. I think there's... I feel like a lot of people in New York run around, though. Yeah, but there's, like, certain people... Like, everybody kind of, like, I feel, is, like, maxed out, like, three or four sets a night. You seem to be, like, you can really hit a lot. What's the most you've done in one night? Yeah. Oh, man. Well, but... I do, I, I, the thing with that too, I run around a lot less than I used to. Mm -hmm. Like, I, cause the truth is too with New York, it's like, you, if you run around and if you're just running around till you're blue in the face, the amount of productivity there, it's like, are you doing new stuff? Are you listening to recordings? Like sure. right. that goes down. But then if it's on the weekend, then you're like making more money for spots. Mm -hmm. Like you kind of want to just take as you many take as you them, can yeah. get in. Mm -hmm. But I, cause I had been gone a good amount too. So then when I'm in New York, I was, I was, trying to like really like work on stuff because right now I don't have a clear opener because I had used my since I did three short sets that like got, that the, I used the material on now TV I, on, now I need to get yes. a new like a new, opening yeah. thing that's, that's comfortable but so the, tonight I did four and then last night I did but it was like it was like six seven eight ten but then last night it was I think I did five or six. Man. Which is a lot. That's a lot. But also I wasn't doing new stuff at each one, so then it's a lot less straining. Uh, yeah, you're kind of just gotcha. going up and just going, here's the here's the fifteen. Right. Throwing the pizza out and, and it's like and it's it's you know Friday, but the but the last one tonight, I was tired because I had to be I felt like this week I had to be like on for everything. Uh -huh. Sure. You and said you were doing a lot of press, doing, you were running around. And also because the two podcasts me and the uh you know, I do each one with someone else, so it's a scheduling thing, so we try to like get it in when we can, so it's like everything was like, it was an absurd amount of time. Of course, sure. when we schedule these, it's like, it's right. chaos. Because comic schedules are, especially at, on a Friday or Saturday night, like minute by minute are changing, of like, hey, the show's running late, right. this, you know, the, uh, someone didn't show up. You get, it's, it's Scheduling with comedians is very, very difficult. Yeah. yeah. It is, that's why I think it makes it tricky being in relationships with, besides the neuroses and all sure. the other stuff, mm -hmm. you know, the your schedule is like, under, and understanding that somebody somebody outside of comedy to understand it like why do you have to like right. I don't get it why do you have to go there or even like in the beginning when you're starting like I have to go and hang out right the, I have to go hang out at a show that if I get on it I'm not going to get paid to perform on right. it yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's like to like I'm like a lawyer right. or like a doctor like what why, yeah. why would you, you do doing? that to yeah. yourself it doesn't make yeah. any sense to anybody or they'll think the, I always think it's such a disconnect but it sounds so weird to argue against, and they go, well, you're just out having fun. And then you're like, I'm not having fun. Dude. Yeah. There's not a fun. Yeah. There's Sit in the back of a show, yeah, yeah, or whatever. Have you ever seen a comedian? I mean, it's, but then it, it go, it's not fun, then you go, but it is fun. It is, it's exactly. Like everything. No. But it's like you That's have a smile on the back yeah. of your head. Like, yeah, yeah, it is right. fun. It's, it's fun. not yeah. fun, but, because then uh, I started dating someone, and, and she was like, you know, she, she was Are like, you seeing somebody now? I am, and she's okay. a therapist. So she goes, oh. she goes, you, she goes, you um, things are good but right now, but it seems like you're complaining a lot. And I was like, well, that's how I communicate. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a comedian you- Sure, you, it's, 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 it's a gripe that you're constantly a, sharing. Right. Yeah. But I also try to be, I've really been trying to be like positive and grateful. And then if there is anything that I feel um, bothered about, something that's really been helping recently is, okay, try to look at my role in it. Like if I'm like, this person bothers me, or I'm upset because I didn't get this, or someone else got that, or I feel rejected from sure. this place. Like I was thinking recently, about, I used to I'd always be like, uh, like Comedy Central was posting all those digital things. So I'm like, what's up? what happened with Com What did I do there that dropped the ball on mm -hmm. that? Because, um, uh, because it, it was I've gone in for so many general meetings with them, and then just like nothing one, stuck, yeah, nothing. And it was even after two general meetings, I would have been like, okay, cool, let's stop going in. They keep having me in for meetings and then not, I didn't mean, I've never done one thing with them. Uh -huh. Nothing. Wow. Which is fine, but then these general meetings are fucking. 
They fuck with your head. Why would I don't want to? I don't want to meet. Generally, after, yeah. after six, it's like it's excessive. Yeah. The audition so, process is like that too. It's yes. like it's like you start to, you know, you said. Because I'm, I had one in the summer where it was like really crushing, and I didn't get it. And I thought I was gonna get it, Damn. and I was, I was counting the money. It was like it was a life changer. It was a game changer. What kind of role was it? It was uh, the fat guy role. To be honest with you, what do you? I was playing an astronaut. What do you think I was playing? <laughs> I think he was a nondescript bus driver this time. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was a big <laughs> one. But when you start when you start visualizing that, it's like, all right, we're oh, sitting down if we're sitting down in a meeting and talking, it's like, all right, we're gonna get something out of right. this. But that I didn't have those hope I don't have that much faith in comedy. Okay. Because <laughs> I was gonna say I I'm starting to, like I'm starting to let that shit right. go. Be able to let that with go. With the general meeting, yeah, I feel like it's because you know what it is too with those things, it's like they get a paid break in there that I feel like if you don't have something ready to pitch then those meetings you do want to do almost a little sparingly because otherwise it's sure. like it's a paid break in there. I, I actually don't know. I I have had stuff come from general. Maybe, yeah, and they meetings, have to yeah. they have to fill their day. They get to so fill it's their like day. yeah, they got yeah. they got to they got to take these meetings. It's like a fun meanwhile thing they're for just them. playing with our our lives. You know what right. I mean? But I would so I, all of a sudden instead of being annoyed about it, I was like, well, what's been my part in this? And I'm like, all right, maybe I probably like. Like they probably, I probably was unprepared when I had an audition, or who knows. Sure, and yeah, then, yeah. And then all of a sudden, it makes it seem it deflates it, and you're like, I'm not mad at it. Yeah, who exactly. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. you take some of the responsibility or the power exactly. away from that, and you're like, all right, it's what's you know, maybe I didn't do what I should have done, or right. you know, this or that, and, and you can move on. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. said something the other day. I was, I was complaining about somebody or something or whatever. And, <laughs> sounds about right. <laughs> and. Uh, you said, "Oh, good for them. You know, they're, they're not, it's right. not. It's not taking money out of out of my pocket, or like we're not competing for the same things. And like, you know, it's the idea of like, you know, if something's meant for you, it's meant for you. If well, it's not, it's not." Somebody said, you but know, "That's that's that's you're t dealing with crazy people. It's tough. That's right. tough I mean, for us to, to fucking you gotta, you gotta, swallow that." Well, like somebody said one time, it was like, you know, keep your eye. Like the way I view it, somebody said, "Keep your eyes on your own test." And right. I like kind of took it one step. I'm like, oh, cheated my whole life. Well, yeah. just gonna... Oh my god! <laughs> but also, yeah. no, no, of that course. That person like the person you want to cheat on. <laughs> uh, of course, of course, of course. But uh, at the same time, like, do you remember in high school, like for the SATs, like they had different versions of tests. Yes, that's that's what ruined me. Uh, that's how I look at comedy. I'm like, yeah, like you know, if somebody gets this, this, or this, I'm like, yeah, well, they right. they fit that role, or that's what they were looking for, or whatever. It's like I can't be upset at what he's doing if he gets fat hot dog guy number four. Right. Like I, I wasn't able to do that, so right. it's like. Just focus on what you were doing and keep your head down. But then, every now and then, you look over at a test and you go, that test just looks like that's that That's my test. That guy's got but my test. a little test. Oh, younger yeah. and thinner. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, somebody, somebody posted uh, that they were... But that is, doesn't matter anyway. Then you got something that they don't have. And, you know, sure. I mean, but, like, no, I say, for but sure. But it's hard not to be like... You just got to try to remind yourself of right. that, I feel. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Or have it inspire you to be like, okay, I got to work harder in this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. I read for yeah. something last week that, like, you know, I read for it on Monday, and then on Wednesday, I reached out, I was like, hey, have you guys heard anything? My manager and my agent. And they were like, oh, they they loved it, they sent it over to the creatives and all that stuff, we're just waiting to hear back. And then two days later, somebody else that fits my type posted in this audition, and I looked, and it's the oh. same exact waiting room. So obviously, they're still looking. Right. You know what I mean? Which means that you didn't get it. <laughs> It'll bye bye fat so yeah. <laughs> Do you, when you go on your auditions, is it a whole bunch of users? Oh like, my God. Really? That's like a Lipitor commercial in there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude. Do you start seeing the same guys around? 100%, yeah. Any friendly with each other? Or? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, nobody's really friendly. And those, you know, especially. Well, it's all character actors, too. So is it, do you ever see like a right. guy from like, that's the guy from that Full oh, House episode yeah. or whatever? Yeah, you know one day. What I can't That's Uncle Joey's friend. I can't remember the guy's name, but he played like a tough cop in something, and he was really, really good in it. Maybe like ten years ago, and I'm in the audition uh, waiting room waiting, and he was reading for something else because you know sometimes they'll have they'll sure. have different the stu different studios going right. on, and this guy came out probably like a 50 year old guy came out of there, in the going in, waiting for the audition. He came out head to toe dressed like Chef Boyardee, <laughs> head to toe. <laughs> Crisp, cleaner. I'm like, oh my god, is this what we're doing? This, yeah, this, that's this, gonna be you. This is our life. Yeah. Right, we'll do it in a second. I had, oh, I, the, I, I the, do the thing, Yeah, absolutely. When I got set it up, how I got set it up is I went and bought, spent ten dollars to get an actual pizza box. Wow. From from uh, a pizza. I guess you bought the pizza box. <laughs> <laughs> that's I did. Right, I, did it. <laughs> I, had to, I had to eat a pizza. I ate this whole pizza. Yeah. But I you went were already in. eating a pizza. You're like, I can take this box with me. But it was for a pizza delivery guy, and I went in with the pizza boxes. <laughs> Walked into the casting director with the pizza box, right? And, and they love that. Nice. Yeah, it's it's crazy, but yes, you do see the same people. 
you are friendly with them. As you know, nobody's friendly when you go in. It's when right. they get out. Right. They break a leg, guys. Totally. Like, they hit you with that. It's like, get the fuck out totally. of here, asshole. I w did this thing on, I think it was uh, today's Saturday. I think it was Thursday. And the part was, whatever the part, it, it was for someone, it was for the girlfriend of this like detective or something. And I was rushing over there and I get onto the right floor and I had written down 301. Mm -hmm. So I get on the floor and this girl goes, you're looking for 334? And I'm like, no, no, 301. So I'm walking and someone else pops up and goes, you must be looking for uh, whatever the thing was. I go, no, 301. Yeah. And then someone else is like, you must be looking for, so after- Something's I, up. About five people go, you must be. So then I get to the door, I think it is, and it's not that. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. They must know that it's a gay park. See me walking around. Mm. Everybody on the floor is like, excuse me. Yeah. You uh, you're in this door, miss. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, why are all these people telling me to go to this? Like, what? I didn't know, couldn't, I didn't put it yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. It, and, but then I walk in there, and all the people that had said that were other actresses auditioning for it, and all of them looked like super straight, too. Uh -huh. So they just must have been thinking, oh, this is a stereotypical version of it. And then see me roaming the halls, yeah. being like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I went in and was like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's too funny. <laughs> what happened funny. tonight at, on the last show? It was. So this is what it was. So it was a good. Uh, well, last night was really nice too because I like I I, uh, I felt like I kind of like worked on some stuff and I felt like I got a good um, tape that I would you know try to splice some stuff up. So then tonight. I went up first on one show. It was an early show, it was at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, that was okay. And then the second show was pretty good. And then I did another show that was good. And then the last show, I think it was just like really crashing from the week. And then knowing I'm doing like a family thing tomorrow. And they were pretty, uh, they were pretty, <laughs> pretty um, they were kind of drunk, but there was this one, this one guy who was talking, but not loud enough that it was really disrupting the show, mm -hmm. but loud enough that being tired. You hear it. I was like, Dude, so shut I, up. Yes, yeah. but because he wasn't being irritating enough to people, it seemed like I was being mean. Did you of snap? Course. Did you snap? I, so I Because I've never seen you snap on stage. Snap. It was, it was like, so he said, he, he said something about this level. He, he saying that. To you or to another audience member? To me. Ugh. So I, I was like, what? And then he was like, <laughs> And I was like, I can hear you, man. So just try to just yeah, yeah. get it together. So I, I want, you know, be proud of what you said. If you felt comfortable enough, to yeah, put it out fucking there. Fucking own it. Own it, what'd you say? And then he d wasn't saying anything. So I was like, I can, there's not that many people in here. I can see it's you. At this point, it's kind of like tense. So I was like, you don't want to <laughs> say anything. And the and guy look, sitting next to him is like I leaning as it. far away from him as any cat. <laughs> That's when you know it's bad. When they're like, uh, yeah. I'm at table four now. Right, yeah. exactly. So then I was kind of like, I lingered on it a little too long. And I was like, all right, moving on. So then doing some jokes and then he kind of, he like waddles out. Mm -hmm. He's pretty drunk. Yeah. So then I said to that guy, I was like, was he with you? And he was like, ah. <laughs> and then the woman didn't, this woman didn't say anything. And I was like, what's his deal? Is he just like wasted? Yeah. And then this woman was like, yeah, he's wasted. And I was like, oh, like, you know, I, I'm not judging him. I used to drink way too much and said, th and then I was like, I don't know why he bothered me. So there's something about him, I think. Sure. His, his essence and his face. Sure. I, I said that there. I was like, something. You said like, that on stage? Yeah, I was like, I see a lot of people. I was like, that guy's got bad and energy. And there's bad mojo about him. Bad he's got mojo. Something. Yeah. There was no, he's out there. That's what <laughs> he's he coming just, in. He just pissed at Yeah, me. he's he, got he, real bad he, mojo. I've been watching. But yeah. he, I don't know why it bugged me so much. So then, uh, so then when he left, but this is what made me feel was when I was leaving, his girlfriend was like, apologized, but then she, it went outside and she was crying. And his friend was there, and I, or it was maybe his sister, and she was like shaking her head, and he was like wasted, and he was going, he had a bottle of water that she'd given him, and he was waving it up and down, going, no one got kicked out of the show! Jesus. I know, and then I had to walk by to get my Uber. Uh, like, <laughs> is this for Emma? Yeah. I gotta go, yeah. Oh my God. Right, wow. and then I wanted to be like, don't say my name, I don't want him, but, so I just felt bad because he was clearly in the doghouse. Yeah, there's a lot going on, yeah. And I feel like I fixated on it too much, and then it's just like, it happens on a late show at the end of the night. It's, it happens though, you know? It's, yeah, I feel like you shouldn't let it get to I should have just kept it moving. Yeah. Not made it quite, well, I mean, he was disrupting. It's true. Yeah, yeah. it's not your fault. Yeah, no, how, you, can't, you, can't, you can't hold that against yourself. How were your guys' shows tonight? They were good. I actually got to okay. go, go do one more spot oh, right awesome. now. They just yeah. call me in, but yo, cool. go home, get some sleep. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, I love you so much. Yeah, yeah.